point of view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Learn to work. like me. No one would ever call anyone four eyes. Hey, nice glasses. Thanks. Yours are pretty cool too. Hooray! 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 My birthday would be a national holiday. And all the people would be super nice. Even the bank robbers. Good morning, everyone. Would you be so kind as to give me all your money? Certainly, sir. My pleasure. Thanks. Yep, it'd be great if there were a million knees. But wait, if there were a million knees... Come play with us, Arthur. Come play with us, Arthur. Come play There'd with us, There'd be a million Arthur. DWs. Come play with us, Arthur. Come play with us, Arthur. Water and the brain. since they added that new ride, the Slam Dunk. I just saw the commercial for it. 25 miles of the fastest water ride ever. Ah! Ending with a straight drop into icy water. One for you, thank you for coming. And one for you, thank you for coming. And one for you... Um, sorry, Muffy, but I can't go. Can't go? Why? Because amusement parks are puerile diversions only befitting unfledged tots. Huh? Water world is for little kids. He's wrong, you know. You gotta be this tall to ride. It's me. The brain hates me. Oh, Muffy, come on. You know that's not true. Yes, it is. I remember this one time when the brain went sailing with us. He wouldn't even stand on deck with me. <gasps> brain, you've got to see this. There's a dolphin swimming next to the boat. Um, no thanks. I've seen plenty of them at the zoo. Anyway, they're just mammals like you and me. Cheer up, Muffy. It's not just you he doesn't like. It's all girls. What? That's crazy. Oh, yeah? Remember my Halloween party? I was the first one to bob for apples. Hey, Brain, why don't you go next? Francine, do you know how many parasites and bacteria are probably swimming in that bucket? I think I'll pass. Parasites and bacteria my foot? I know what he was really afraid of. Cooties. You're wrong, Francine. He doesn't just hate girls. He hates all of us. Now that is ridiculous. Oh, really? Well, listen to this. Once, the brain and I were trying to catch frogs near the pond. I got one. I got one. Whoa. Quick, get it. Get it. <gasps> you had 
get him? Why'd you let him get away? Because, because chasing frogs is a cruel and inhumane sport. I won't be a part of it. Then he said that he didn't like us because he was smarter than all of us. He said that? Yep. At least, I think that's what he said. He used bigger words. He really thinks he's better than us. What a snob. I can't believe you guys. The Brain is one of our best friends. Then why won't he come to my party? I... I don't know. Thanks for coming to my party. Even though it's just at a silly amusement park that my daddy has rented at great expense. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world, Muffy. I'm not a snob like some people. Uh, uh. uh. Hi, Binky. <gasps> the Brain is saying hello to me. I'm so honored. Thank you, Mr. Brain. Thank you. Ahem. Doesn't that table look a little crowded to you, Arthur? Or do you think you're better than us, too? I need to talk to you later. You can't let them get me! D.W., it's just a bath. Nobody ever died from taking a bath. Aww. Thanks, Eggs Benedict Arnold! <laughs> Some people get upset over the craziest things. Hey, I wonder if the brain... <gasps> Wait! That's it! Boy, am I glad to see you. Come in. Thanks. And that's why they all think you're a snob. But it's not true. They're my friends. I don't think I'm better than they are. I knew you didn't. But, Brain, why won't you go to Muffy's party? I can't tell you. You wouldn't understand. Is it because you're afraid of something? No. I mean, I think I'm being called for dinner. I better get home. But this is your house! Binky, guess what? I know what's wrong with the brain. He's... Hey, what are you doing behind there anyway? Shh! Binky, no! Don't do it! Stop! Hey, what are you doing? I had a perfect shot at the snob. But the brain's not a snob, Binky. He's just afraid to go swimming. What? Is that true? <laughs> you see, I knew no one would understand. Now I'm going to be the laughing stock of the class. <laughs> I can't believe I was so <laughs> insensitive. All this time you were just afraid of swimming. <laughs> what a dumb thing to be afraid of. Yes, my hydrophobia has prevented me from engaging in a multitude of peer-related activities. In English, please. It really stinks, Binky. Brain, we're going to cure you. We are? Yep. Come on. I know just the thing for it. <laughs> Jump! But, but I'm afraid I'll sink. This is the only way to learn how to swim. Besides, we'll save you if you sink. I don't want to learn to swim. I want to go home. You are going to learn to swim, and then you are going to have fun at Waterworld. Uh, Binky, I think we need to start off with something a little easier. Okay, Brain, now just step onto that top step. Good, now take another step. Great, now another one. Arthur, Muffy's party is going to be over by the time he gets up to his neck. Up to my neck? No way am I going that far. In fact, I'm out of here. <sighs> what good is an aquarium going to do? It's just filled with fish and dumb facts. If we can make the brain feel like he's in water without getting him wet, then I think we can cure him. Did you know that sperm whales eat 60 tons of plankton a year? 
Oh, come on. Let's get this over with. Now, Brain, I want you to look into that fish tank and imagine you're in there, underwater. Are you imagining it? Are you scared? Hey, I think we've done it. I think we've cured him. <gasps> what went wrong? I couldn't hold my breath any longer. You weren't supposed to hold your breath. Well, I can't breathe underwater, Arthur. I don't have gills. I told you this was a dumb idea. Yeah, well, it was better than making him jump in the lake. Was not. Was too. Was not. Was too. Was not. Stop it! I really appreciate both of you trying to help me, but it's just not working. You know, there are worse things a kid could be afraid of, like air. Uh, Brain, you should look where you're... Or school. Hey, Brain, watch out, you're gonna... Or... Whoa! 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 Somebody help me! Oh, thank you. You guys just saved my life. I was really scared. You know something, Brain? So was I. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Whew, that was fun. It's too bad the Brain couldn't come with us. Just because the Brain doesn't like to swim doesn't mean he's not our friend, Francine. Oh, yeah? Well, I wasn't the one who tried to make him like swimming, Binky. You're both right. And anyway, it would be boring if everybody was exactly the same. You guys wouldn't have anything to fight about. Well, I'm just glad Brain's not a snob. I don't like snobby people. By the way, Arthur, who picked out your bathing suit? It's so tacky. <sighs> well, I'm really glad the Brain is just the way he is because if he wasn't... The towels would be as wet as we are. Hi, guys. You listen to this. This is the funniest joke I ever heard. A monkey and a banana are walking down the street in a car. No, wait, I messed it up. An apple and a banana are driving a monkey... Driving a car with the monkey... No. The monkey's driving. I messed it up again! Okay, a monkey's driving a banana. A monkey is driving a bus full of apples and bananas. Oranges! They're oranges! A monkey is driving a bus and an orange and a banana and one says, and the other says. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I've got it. <laughs> it's funny, this is funny. I almost wrecked it by saying apple. It has to be orange because the punchline is orange, you glad I didn't say banana? Oh man, I said the punchline. Arthur the Unfunny. Hi. Mom! Did W use my good pencil sharpener to sharpen crayons again? Did not. Then how come it's full of crayon? Hell did it! He couldn't, he doesn't have thumbs. Gotta go! Dear Buster, how is it traveling to foreign countries with your dad? I wish I could get DW to go to a foreign country. I heard that. Everyone here is trying to raise money for the Elwood City Library. Mrs. McGrady is having a bake sale, and all the money goes towards buying new books. For someone who says he doesn't like to read, I think he sure paid for a lot of books. Mr. Crosswire is raffling off a new car. And Muffy decided to have a backyard carnival. We'll put activity booths there. And a Ferris wheel back there. We'll need a big main show. What's the best thing we can do that'll raise a lot of money? Why don't we set up a particle accelerator, like the one created by Simon Vandermeer? shrink people down to subatomic size so they can examine ions in nucleic structure up close. 
What a thrill ride that would be! What are you talking about? Is that even possible? She didn't say it had to be possible. She said the best thing. <laughs> Sounded cool to me. I've got it. We built a gigantic shopping plaza full of clothes. Ugh. Shopping is boring. Well, I'm not paying for a pasteurizing agitator. Particle accelerator? I wish Buster were here. He'd say let's tell jokes or be clowns. That's it. What a great idea. This is a carnival. We can all be clowns. Thanks, Arthur. So we agreed to all be clowns and tried out all the funny things we could do. I told them a joke that you told me, the one about the shoe store. And he says, hide, hide, a cow's outside. And the other guy says, I don't care. I'm not afraid of any cow. <laughs> don't you get it? Oh, yeah, we get it. Yes, the shoes were made of leather or cowhide. He's not funny. If Arthur's a clown, he'll ruin my whole carnival. I'll talk to him. Maybe there are other jobs besides a clown that you can do at the carnival, Arthur. But I can be funny. I know it. I used to make Buster laugh all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was just being polite. One time, he was laughing so hard, he squirted a strawberry thick shake through his nose. <laughs> and you don't squirt a whole strawberry thick shake out your nose just to be polite. Mom! Mom! Can I ask you a question? Am I funny? Well, there's nothing funny about how you haven't practiced the piano all week. One thing I know, Buster. If Mom wants you to practice, you practice first and ask questions later. Now it's your turn, Kate. I win. Let's play again. <laughs> Arthur, and I do too. Your face is always hilarious. Har, har, har. You're just jealous because I'm funnier than you. Oh, it's hard having a sister who's perfect. You'll get used to it. Everyone at school is laughing at me because I'm not funny. I mean, they're not laughing at me because I'm not funny. You just need a surefire joke, like this. A guy who doesn't hear well goes to buy a pair of shoes. That's the same joke I told. Really? It's a very funny joke. Unless I tell it. Great, I'm a joke killer. Everyone who's here can be clapped, but not Arthur. But the whole clown thing was Arthur's idea. We'll hurt his feelings. Well, then you better make him a good clown, because I will not let him wreck my carnival. So that's when it started, Buster. I got it! Sue Ellen came by to teach me to juggle. Oh, oh, oh. After a while, she gave up. Then the brain tried to teach me new jokes. <laughs> but I didn't really understand them. Don't you get it? Helium is a noble gas. Oh. What? I couldn't learn to make faces like Binky. <sighs> Muffy even hired Pickles the Clown to teach me professional clowning. What? Shoot! <laughs> No, I'm not clowning. That was a real sneeze. <gasps> Pickles had to leave early because he's allergic to dogs, but he gave me some advice. Kid, forget about ever having huge feet and a big round nose. 
Well, you heard him, and he's the biggest clown in town. I heard about another kid once who had no sense of humor, and he grew up to be Mr. Ratburn. Eight times seven divided by four. Quickly, quickly. He's the future Ratburn. <laughs> Girls are scientifically inexplicable. You said it. That means weird, right? Yeah. You said it. Look out. It's... Hold it. You're right. I'm not funny. I don't have to be a clown. Not everybody has to be funny. If everyone was as funny as the people on TV, there'd be no reason to watch TV. And if nobody watched TV, all the people who make the shows would have no jobs, and all the companies that advertise would go out of business. So by not being funny, I'm saving the jobs of thousands and thousands of people and their families. Wow. I hope someday I can be as important as Arthur. So the day of the carnival came. I was the piano player. Poor guy. I hope you're happy. You know, Francine, when I really think about it, I am. <laughs> Arthur looks so funny. He's in a suit. Congratulations, kid! Shake! <laughs> what works for me didn't work for you, so you found your own individual way to do it. Yeah, how'd I do that? Well, just because there's one way to do something doesn't mean that it's the only way. Everybody's got a different style. Don't be afraid to find yours. I'll remember that, Mr. Pickles. So Francine was wrong. I was funny. I just hadn't found my style yet. Now, if only I could find a style that would get me an A in math. Right back soon, your friend, Arthur. <laughs> and I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play, and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. It's a simple message, and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. And I say, hey, 